over here. And you all, my dear God, we commend the soul of our brother. We commit his body to the ground. You. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Someone talking to me? No, to the mouse in your pocket. Oh, hi. Hi, yourself. Welcome to the club. Thanks. We got us a nice little place here. Quiet. Not many birds dumping on your headstone. You know what I mean? Now, where are you from? Plattsburgh, about 10 miles west. It's a nice little town. I'm from Murfreesville myself. Oh, yes. I know Murfreesville. Hey, I used to think it was a pretty good place to live. What uh, changed your mind? Little car wreck I had. <laughs> I'd just gotten a promotion in a big raise. Did a little celebrating in the home. Really racked up the car. Rough way to go. No, I was still alive. At least until those morons showed up. Local ambulance service? Yeah. You know, I might have made it if it hadn't been for them gorillas. Yeah, I found out later on I was one of their very first victims. In more ways than one. Hey, car wreck, 1218 North Pine. Get gone. That's funny. What's so funny about it? No, I mean, I had a pretty bad car wreck myself. Yeah? I was on my way home from a long sales trip. I've been driving all night. We better get to a phone. There's a gas station down the road. I guess I fell asleep at the wheel. Tough. Well, I was hurt pretty bad, but I was still alive. And then your ambulance service finished the job, right? No, we've got a pretty good ambulance service in our town. They're all EMTs, nationally registered. Check one, one, half resuscitation two. Check one, large resuscitation two. Unit one, respond to a traffic emergency. Route twenty-two, Route twenty-two, Route twenty-two, Route twenty-two, Route good ambulance service in our town. I wish I could say the same for ours. Hot damn! Where you go? Where the hell does Pine Street cut in? I don't know. Well, check the map, dummy. What map? Hey, you guys. 
or South Pine. Breaker, breaker, this is Redline Willie out of Hogtown City. Come on. Get off the radio, you loudmouth truckers. This is an emergency. Well, mercy, good buddy, and a warm 10-4 to you. Rescue Central, this is Unit 1. Single vehicle collision, Route 12, two and a half miles east of the I-10 intersection. Appears to be gasoline on the roadway. Unit 1, clear. 10-4, Unit 1. Central, clear. Not sure. He's breathing. Rate about 24 to 28. Pulse is weak and rapid. Skin's cool, a bit clammy. Maybe shock. Steering wheel's bent. Could be a chest trauma. I'm gonna check for heart and lung sounds. But don't forget, we got a leaking gas tank back there. I know, but we gotta do it. Right. Feels like fractured ribs. Heart and lung sound good. Uh-oh, feels like a tip fracture. Pedal pulse is good. Okay, I'm gonna get the longboard. I'll do it. It's my turn. No, no, you did it last time. Oh, no, I didn't. Give me that damn thing. You okay, buddy? Hey, it's Jeff. You uh, want to tow this wreck to the hospital? Then we gotta get him out of there.
Enough to make you sick. Get the stretcher. I just got the crowbar. Get the stretcher. Sluggish. Did you check him for medic alert tags? Yeah, he's clean. Here's a nose, okay? No blood or fluid. No skull depressions. Skin's still cool and clammy. BP, 90 over 54. Maybe a bit low for this guy. Well, let's keep an eye on it. I count two fractured ribs. Lungs and heart still sound good. Pedal phone's still good. Rate about 120. Seems normal. No spasms of rigidity. Any swelling? No, uh-uh. No apparent injuries in the pelvic area. Right leg's okay. Oh, oh. Sir, don't try to move your head. You've been in a car accident, and we've applied a cervical collar and backboard to protect your neck and spine, just in case they might have been injured. We're emergency medical technicians, and we're doing everything we can for you. We'll have you to the hospital as soon as possible. Very carefully, try to wiggle your fingers and toes. Spine's probably okay. Sir, do you have any pain? My chest. My left leg. Nowhere else? No. Yeah, I'm gonna go get the gurney. We got one male, we got no ID yet, but his jacket's in the car, I think his wallet's in it. Where's he going? Mercy Hospital. Did you get the call about the leaking gas tank? Fire department and tow truck are on their way. Okay. Need any help? No thanks. Then we'll be out of here in a few minutes. Okay. What do we got here? What does it look like we got here? A game of stickball? Is he hurt bad? Beats the hell out of me. Didn't you do a body survey? I look like some flippin' doctor to you. Got an ID? We're from Economy Ambulance Service, officer. No, him, him! Stranger. Want me to check his wallet? Don't touch his wallet. Where are you taking him? Out to dinner and a movie. Now, where the hell do you think we're taking him? Now, just wait a second. Listen, pal. 
We don't crush crime. You don't haul victims, okay? Look, is there any chance you can move that ambulance out of the middle of the street? All in good time. Am I going to be okay? You don't seem to be in any immediate danger. We'll have you in the hospital in about 20 minutes. Just a minute. You want me to drive? The way you poke along? Oh. Uh, How you doing, buddy? My car. Hey, don't worry about it. I got a cousin who runs a body shop. I'll get you a deal. My car. Oh, sorry about that, buddy. No sweat. Car was totaled anyway. Yeah, the poor sucker. Well, let's get the show on the road. BP 90 over 54, pulse 120, respiration 24 and shallow. 10 for unit 1, continue oxygen at 6 liters per minute and continue to monitor vital signs. What is your ETA? ETA Mercy Hospital, 15 minutes. Will recontact if necessary. Unit 1 clear. 10 for unit 1, awaiting your arrival. Mercy clear. Man, those guys were fantastic. What I understand, they're no different from EMTs in most towns. Not in my town. Oh, you forgot something, dummy. Oh, geez, you're right. I hope it's not too late. Mac, you got Blue Cross or something? Hey, Mac, you got any cash? I think it's too late. Well, somebody's got to pay for this service call. Hey, we can impound this car. No, oh, that's out. Reckless drivers. Man, what are they going to learn? <laughs> Mr. 
Your guys sound like throwbacks to when the ambulance service just meant lugging victims in and out of meat wagons. Today, EMTs provide vital emergency services that can save lives. Well, that's the difference between professionals and amateurs. More like the difference between life or death. Good job. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. If you've got such terrific hair, what are you doing here? You're not going to believe this. Try me. Well, about a month after I got out of the hospital, I was over in your neck of the woods. Yeah? I was just walking across the street. Yeah? And I got run over by an ambulance. Hey, oh, tell me. Yep. Big guy with a cigar driving, little guy next to him. That's them. I hope they put those two gorillas away forever. I don't know what happened to them, but I'll bet they're not driving ambulance anymore. I sure hope not. Hey, I gotta be going. Sure nice talking with you. Nice talking to you. You know, the one thing that bothers me most is I never had a chance to thank those guys that helped me. They were terrific. They were skillful and professional. But most important, they cared. And that's what makes the difference between life or death. So to all you EMTs out there, from all the rest of us you kept out of here. Thanks.